we had a lot of unknowns yesterday, and uh, quite frankly, uh, we learned a lot from it. This is the scene in Greensboro after a night of peaceful protests went south. Scorched businesses, shattered glass, and a civil rights museum boarded up for protection. There were people in those groups yesterday that came to our community to start trouble. Hundreds of people joined in on the national protest calling for justice after the death of George Floyd, who was in police custody when he died. The name Floyd being chanted throughout downtown Greensboro Saturday night as hundreds of people took to the streets. I want to say that I too feel that black lives matter. Greensboro Mayor Nancy Vaughn supporting protesters cause but not supporting damaging your own community like this. We will not tolerate that. Guilford County Sheriff Danny Rogers echoing the mayor's message to please practice protesting peacefully while ensuring his law enforcement agency will not tolerate unjust policing in his county. We're not here to bring any type of strife. We're here to make sure that everybody is treated fairly and everything works right. To see how people uh, want to tear up stuff. We know you used to see it on television, but when it's in your own county, then it was a different story for me. Protests hit every point of the triad. The Walmart Supercenter on South Main Street in High Point closed because of protesters, according to High Point Police. No justice, no peace. And 24 hours after protests in Greensboro, dozens of people filled Innovation Quarter in Winston-Salem holding signs saying Black Lives Matter and pushing for peace. Protesting um, the recent injustices. Olivia Moore is the brains behind the protest. At just 16 years old, she organized the gathering and encouraged everyone to remain peaceful. As many people asking come, if there would have been 10 people shown up, like how it started, I would have been satisfied because that shows that people care. And I want to know that people care because on social media right now, it looks like people don't care. She says it's gratifying to peacefully get your point across. And she hopes people are listening to the message that she and all of these other people are trying to share. Reporting in the triad, Brandon Bates, WXII 12 News.